Hello, Dr. Kim here, the Hammer Doc. All right, I'm removing the wires from this Leslie Amphenol connector, a six pin Amphenol connector, because three of the pins are loose here, so I'm having to replace it, replace this Amphenol connector with a new one. All right, but in order to do that, I must first remove this Amphenol connector. Let me show you my setup for doing that. Um, what I've done is I've taken my, my iron here, my solder, soldering iron, and I just stick it in the case. I stick it in like the holder, like this. Add a little solder to the tip, heat it up. Okay, that's very important. That heats up that tip. Then I can go over here. Uh, to the end here, touch that. Touch that pin. Grab the, the wire with my precision wire holders here, my, my pliers, precision pliers. Now I'm just heating up that pin is what I'm doing. There you go. Ah, putting that solder on there, you heated up that pin, and I was able to get a little more. coming out there see so there's the, the wire one so I just have to heat up that pin by heating up that pin that wire comes right out there it is so I've got one two three four of them out and I have two more to go. So again, I just um, <clears throat> heat up my tip like this. And then hold that on there. And heating up the pin. Now I'm, I'm holding that wire, I'm actually putting some uh, pressure on it, I'm actually pulling it, let me heat this up a little bit more. Because I want that thing heat, I want that, I want, I want that pin hot. So I want it to come on, I want that wire to come on out of there. 
There it goes. There she, there it is, right there. See, so by heating up that pin, I was able to pull that wire on out. There we go, right here. All right, so that's enough. That I just, I just gotta have, I have one more to do, and then I'll have these um, removed. Now, uh, <clears throat> now somebody may have, uh, may would have uh, just went ahead right here and cut it. It could, because you could easily just boom cut these, and then cut the cut the um, the sheath back, covering back, and cut back all of these wire, all of these uh, little protective coverings. I could have done that, but um, I like to use it the way it is, and um, add a little solder to the tips. The more solder to the tip, and then and you put them back into the new um, connector, amphenol connector. So that's that's this is how I do it. It takes a little longer doing this way. Well, but if if I were to just take my my cutter here, my precision cutters like this, and go right here and clip this off, which that would be quicker. Just clip that off. I would still have to cut it back, trim it back, and like I said, cut all this back, making the cable shorter, on and on and on. That takes time. So either either uh, which either method I use is going to take some time. And when you're doing this work, you don't want to be in a rush. Don't be in a rush. Take your time and get it done right. It takes time to do this work. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this last one, and uh, so I can move forward. Till the next video, Doctor Kemp here, the Hammond Doc. Peace out.